Hi, and welcome to the Fabric Studio. Today we're going to start a new series on the basic functionality of the software. So let's begin. Remember when your software opens, as you all know, you have a um, quick start guide that um, is there. You can click on any of these buttons um, on the top to work on your swatch and on the bottom to create your pattern. When you're done with this, you can just click up the um, right top button and it will disappear. At any given time during the your um, your software program is open by going to Windows and clicking on Quick Start it will bring the interface back up. So let's click out of it now. Now um, another thing to know about the Quick Start guide is you can go to Help and under Quick Start Interface, you can click on any of these different topics and have them printed, um, which um, will open Adobe, and you can print them out and keep them at your side. Also, one thing you need to know, if you're working with a Windows 7 64-bit processor, once that Quick Start Guide is closed out, you will then have to open it um, through um, the Help button in order to view it. All right, there are four important boxes that should be always open on your workspace. Your toolbox, your color box, your layer box, and your pattern design box. If one of these boxes are not there, you will go to Windows, and in this case, Tools, you'll either hit F5 or click on Tools and it will reappear. It is very, very important that all four are here. Now, your pattern design box is your most important box. That's where you select your image, create your pattern, use your autofill, and some of the other advanced functions in the software. So let's get started. 